Turn the stupid things off. What cave have you guys been living in? And we're the idiots? Relax, I'm just kidding. Well, duh. Why would you want to do something like that? Makes sense. Things are not equal. Hey, it could happen. Just about the first thing the newly elected government of the province of Ontario did was to announce they're canning the subsidies on battery-powered cars. Now, never mind the politics, this is the right decision. Frankly, it's been what I've been saying since this whole debate began. The point is, you're digging lithium out of the ground in Bolivia or some godforsaken place, putting it on a diesel-powered train, taking it to the Pacific coast, a bunker sea fueled tanker to China, more diesel powered train to the factory, back across the ocean again. None of those pollutants count against the electric car. Why not? Meanwhile, your taxes were going to pay for upwards of $14,000 worth of the cost of that car. Now, if that's one seventh of the cost of the car, don't I get to drive it for one day a week? After all, it's my money. Nowadays, electric cars will have to start standing on their own two feet or in their own lithium-powered batteries. And it's about time. If they can compete on a level playing field, be my guest. I still don't know where all the electricity is going to come from. You know how much gasoline we burn in a year in our country? Where are we getting that much electricity? Simply not going to happen. Now, I know two people who have bought electric cars. One of them owns a Chevy Bolt. He lives well within driving range up between his house and his office. He's got charging stations at both, well and good. Another friend of mine may have just snuck in under the rebate for buying himself a new Tesla. If he doesn't, then it's gonna cost him another $14,000. The point is, as long as they're one or 2% of the market, be my guest. If you think they're gonna be anything more than that, you are the one who have got the short circuit. I'm Jim Kenzie.